or this and that. That's good to work for the, for the aviation industry when we're talking about new fuel. Mm -hmm. And that's purely driven by just the bottom line and uh, can reduce cost and therefore they as a manufacturer We're seeing very strong uh, bookings, certainly all of the airline CEOs that I'm talking to are seeing not just good demand for near in travel, but they continue to see demand uh, as they look through the year. Uh, so the cash is coming back into the industry, which is badly needed. Nice. Well, what we're seeing at the moment is very strong demand. Now, I think the challenge is how much of that is just pent up demand that will then dissipate as we go through the year. But all the indications we're seeing at the moment is that you know, a slight increase in fares that we've already witnessed is not deterring people from travelling. And e even the disruption that we're seeing at the moment is not deterring people. I think the, the summer is going to be good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty confident. I mean, the, the word is that uh, uh, in a lot better place than, uh, than, than ever before uh, during this uh, pandemic period. We are in a very different input cost environment now. I mean, you see inflationary pressure. Uh, on the consumer, you see inflationary pressure on commodities. I mean, the oil spike, uh, all that will uh, will affect the economics of the industry uh, for sure. Uh, it affects the um, uh, the input costs to the uh, to the industry. Uh, so we we will have to uh, uh, to deal with that.